sweet. This is gonna hurt. I told you this would hurt. Oh, dry it up. I went over uh, Ed Frazier's house, the old guy I know, known for years after work, and uh, we're talking about old cars and stuff. And I said, "Yeah, I got to find a shaft that'll fit inside this thing with a keyway." And uh, I says, "You got a doodle bug out back?" And he says, "It's I don't know what it was. It's so rotted, um, you could barely get to it. It's buried in the woods." And uh, I found out it's a '30 Chevy. I have one picture, two pictures of it. I'll show right now. But um, I'm walking up back looking for, you know, other steering columns and stuff. And uh, right on the ground is this piece of aluminum. And it's really nasty, crusty. I'm looking at him going, you know, that looks the same size as the center of my horn here, this little hole area. So I picked it up, took it down, brought it home and sandblasted it. And then, uh, I'll be damned, that's a perfect fit. And I mean, don't that look like the radial engine uh, fins? You polish and powder coat this thing, polish the upper fins. Right, and I think it will go one step further. We're going to make a secondary horn ring that comes around, and that three blades off of that horn ring will be out here. And we're going to make a three blade propeller, just like the bomber had. This thing's getting cooler and cooler by the day, you know. I've been working, and let's put it this way I worked 16 hours Saturday. I've had no hot rod time at all, whatsoever. Look at this, it's got a groove with a rubber seal. You just got to make a little brass adapter or something to go in the middle that'll screw on to what remains of the nut to hold it down and just make some kind of horn switch assembly. Too easy. But yeah, I'm dying to get some wood and start cracking on this thing. I really like that. I mean, it's almost a perfect fit. It is a perfect fit. It's like a thousandth bigger. Got some pictures of the engine I'll show you too. Because uh, I've been in one. B-17. Big, huge mucking plane. Holy crap. But this is just a quick update. I'm still here, still cracking. Never stop thinking about parts and what you're going to make and what you're going to find and what I need and all that crap. Wish this thing would focus. There we go. That is just sweet. That is, um, I've got to say what it is. This is the oil filter cover. It looks like for like a Honda or a Kawasaki or a, who knows, a Yamaha. It was just laying on the ground out back. See, it says Japan. We're going to have to scrub that off, huh? Can you see that? Japan. Oh, we're so going to have to file that out. <laughs> or powder coat over it. I'm thinking black wrinkle, raised polish fins. We make our hub. That's going to be friggin' cool and different. One of a kind. Oh, have a good night.